Hey guys, welcome back. And today, what we're gonna be working on is the rocker moldings of the Cuda. So here is what came on the car. I have an original one and then a reproduction replacement. So the original one is pretty cool and that you can see how it was actually painted from the factory. Um, so you can see the, the black paint, then you can see some where it was maybe masked off and there's a little bit of, I wouldn't want to call it overspray, but you can actually see like here's a good example of how well, there's paint um, you know, past it, whether it was how it was masked off, I'm not really sure. But this is going to be a good example to you know, try to recreate. You know, I mean, I'm not going to try to have, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to have good edges, but we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to start off on the reproduction and go from there. Um, actually, the original one I, even has a little chip, so I'm going to use some uh, plastic weld and work on that. And while that one's setting up today, uh, I'll work on this and try to figure out a good technique to get these painted. All right, so we just mixed up a little bit of the plastic JB Weld Bonder and High Strength. I've used it before. I used it on one of my headlight bezels and it worked really well. I don't need much. And just going to mix it up on this piece of cardboard and then go apply it. And we'll take a look. Oh, uh, yeah, nothing too fancy. I just kind of tried to make a little form with some... Uh, painter's tape to hold the epoxy resin in place while it hardens up and um, <clears throat> tomorrow I'll peel it off and sand it and should be good should need any all right so first idea was to not tape anything off and spray paint just the gills with the SEM trim black and I just did it on the front front section here real quick and then I'm gonna come in with the argent silver and spray in this direction and see if I can cover everything without getting any argent on the black that I just painted. I'm hoping that works because that'll mean I won't have to tape off anything. Uh, I have my doubts, but we're going to give it a try. So it'll be a real challenge trying to tape off all those little edges and have the tape wrap around. And yeah, that'll be a nightmare. If this works, this will be a huge lifesaver. So I just did it on the front section here and we'll give that a try hoping crossing my fingers all right so bad news is definitely over spraying the black i mean it's not bad you know 10 feet away you'd probably never know but that'll bug me so i think what i'm gonna do is i just uh i just sanded the whole thing down lightly with a scotch bright and finish spraying it with um plastic adhesion promoter so I think I'm going to do the Argent. I like the color. It came out real nice, though. I'm going to spray the Argent on the whole thing. A couple coats today, and then tomorrow, try to mask it off. I need to get some, some finer, narrower masking tape and um, mask it all off and do the black, I guess. I don't know what else to do, but I don't think there's any great option for this. So it's just going to be tedious, but I think it'll be worth it when it's all done. So we'll see. All right, so I let this epoxy sit up overnight and uh, dry it up real nice and hard. I've never had this JB Weld plastic stuff fail on me. It works awesome. So let's uh, unmask this guy and let it sit up and see how it looks. So I wanted to make it, you know, larger than what it needed to be so I could sand it to fit just perfect. So it's going to take a little bit of work, but should should be what I want. So... Yeah, like I said, I'll come in with a air dye grinder and rough it in and then do the rest by hand. So let's look at the back side. Nice. That'll work. It's a little shy right here, but I think that's going to be just, just fine. Cool. All right, let's go take a look at the other one that I let sit overnight with the uh, Argent Silver. I'll have to mask that one off today and spray that. That's the plan. <clears throat> All right, so this is um, the aftermarket marker panel that I painted last night. Um, it's all good and dry now. It has a couple of good, good coats on it. You can see the black where I tried to spray and then directionally spray the Argent. But still has a lot of overspray. And today I'm going to attempt to mask this off. So <laughs> I'm going to do a time lapse maybe and... We'll see how long this takes me, but uh, I bought some narrow 
<clears throat> painter's tape. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how this goes. So here's the piece I welded up last night, and it's good and dry. I'm actually just gonna hit it with my grinder here real quick, just to rough it in, and then I'll finish and finish it by hand. So I'm gonna show that. All I'm gonna do with it. Nothing crazy, just want to get it kind of close. So now I'll get some uh, finer paper and get that shell shaped in good. And then after that, I'm just gonna scotch bright and clean this whole thing good. Or actually, actually, I'm gonna clean it first with some pre clean, scotch bright it, and then clean it again. And then we'll be ready to hit it with the Argent today. And then tomorrow, I'll mask this one off and do the black on this. Although, actually, I might try that attempt again at just doing the overspray again today. Just ah, be nice if I didn't have to mask it off, but eh, it's kind of rough anyway, so I'll probably just tape it off. But yeah, so that's the plan. 
All right, so I'm just gonna hit this with some old ADI grid I have right here to finish hand sanding it. And I think that'll be just fine, actually. Just wanna try to follow the contours that's already there. In reference, you know, the corner up here, it has a nice radius and I wanna duplicate that on the other side of it. might be thinking, Wayne, why aren't you in your garage or in your workshop, in your workbench? Man, it's freaking mid, late in October already here in Michigan, and it's absolutely beautiful. About low 60s, sun is shining, so I don't want to be outside all I can right now. Don't care where I'm sitting, as long as I'm outside. I'm happy. Pretty soon, we'll be stuck inside here with a foot of snow. This is all right, this is all right. All right, I'm just about there actually. A little bit more. It's getting real close. There it is. There's the corner I just finished up. So, I had a big chunk missing out of it. And that'll do it. No one will ever know. Well, except for all of you guys, well, you saw the video. All right. All right, so we just finished cleaning the, uh, my next one with the pre-clean. And now I'm gonna go over the whole thing with the red scotch bright, just scuff it up. And the next step after that will be spraying the, uh, Plastic prep uh, adhesion spray. So this is the plastic adhesion promoter. So I'm gonna spray coat on this. I just uh, got done doing the scotch bright and wiping it down and pretty much ready for uh, paint now after this step. So they say to use two coats on this actually, so um, yeah, shake thoroughly one minute upon a coat, one light coat, five minutes to flash, and then a full wet coat in 15 minutes, a lot of flash for 15 minutes, but no longer than 30 before top coating. So five minutes and then another coat, and then we'll wait a few minutes and spray the silver. All right, so now we're gonna do the wet coat. Windy day, not ideal for spraying, but it'll be all right. There you go, nice and wet. Alright, second coat. So we're gonna try to spray this a little heavier now and see how this goes. Of course the wind just picks up again. Ah.
sure I got everything on this side. All right, so I just finished the second uh, rocker molding and uh, put a couple coats of the satin black on it and I'm just gonna unmask it and see how it turns out. moldings on the car so all finished up finally and we was able to let them dry up for a bit and this is actually a good example now I have some a little bit of decent light you can see a, the example of an aftermarket rocker molding versus an OEM um, the aftermarket really has a lot of the grain and texture molded into it if you can see it there on a close-up versus you know the OEM molding so at least Pretty sure this is the OEM molding, but no, I know it is. But um, and the other thing, this one's uh, really straight, nice and flat. This one I noticed it's got some curvature down at the end, so I'm hoping that all screws down nice and flat. But we'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna put the GoPro down and try to get a record this as I mount them up and. I also ordered the, what is, I believe is to be the correct screws, so it's not just a, I've seen a lot, most people sell just more of a standard screw with threads all the way up to the head, but this one's more of a shouldered screw, and it actually has like, um, I can only presume that's for like a, a sealant to keep like moisture or water out of the hole, because that's actually what I was planning on doing until I noticed these, so I bought these, and we're going to give these a try, so. Hopefully these work out well. Uh, we'll see. Now, I know it looks like one of the holes either got filled up at some point in time. Not sure what's going on, but I'll have to redrill that. So I'm going to try to get this in position. Maybe get, get one screw started by hand, and then use some uh, my painter's tape and try to hold up the ends and just. Do one at a time here and try to get it going. So I'm gonna try to get some tape out and get it on each side of this hole. I'm gonna start with the middle one.
right, we got a good bite. Actually, that's holding pretty good. I don't even think I'll need the tape. Police department and the sheriff, and uh, every once in a while he does a little flyby, check on his dad next door. That's what we just heard. That's kind of fun. All right. All right. So far, these other bolts, or screws, are lining up just fine. Two more to do back here. Then I'll come back and drill a couple holes. One in the rocker and one in the fender. Not a big deal. All right, so if you're wondering what drill size these are, I checked the holes on the other side, eighth inch. So we're just gonna put it, do one at a time. Actually, I'm gonna do. Let me start in the back, drill this hole, secure it, and then do the next one. Just want to make sure I don't have any you know, alignment issues. Nice. Perfect fit. Now this next one. All right. Let's take a look. I think that looks pretty awesome. I can deal with that. I know there's, like I said, this, so this is the reproduction one on the passenger side and they had put it on there. They, it was never painted. 
the gills were never blacked out. And um, yeah, that looks pretty cool, so much better. So now we can go get the driver's side on and man, we'll be done. All right, driver's side. I'm gonna get a couple of screws set out. I've been wanting to finish this project up for a long time. This is like one of the last, I guess I would call it cosmetic um, projects I, I was wanting to finish up before I can really focus in on all the things I'm going to need to do to really to make it run once I get the motor back from the machine shop. So should be a couple of weeks out. They had a little delay, but we're working through it and it wasn't a big deal on my end, but I've got stuff to do. Alright. Snug them up. You're good. But these getting a good bite on these so far, I mean. You know, these screws are working well. So and plus a little extra protection with these sealer on it and you want to keep any moisture out of those holes. Right, a couple more at the front. We got one, two, three, four, five. We got four more in the front to do. Should be good. Let's see, did they give me any extra screws? Nope. So we'll finish these out and we'll be done. After having, you know, getting up close and personal with the rocket moldings it kind of makes me want to look for an original passenger side one that's in decent shape you know you know like I said this one actually had the chip in it and we can show you that later once we get it all installed but can't even see it so if anyone's got an original passenger 70 Cuda rocker molding let me know wouldn't mind picking one up so not that I'm all about you know, or being perfectly original, numbers matching, whatever, but yeah, there is a difference and kind of bugs me knowing just that I have, you know, one reproduction and one original. And the main thing is just, yeah, there is definitely a difference, you know, so if anyone's got one, knows where I can get one, let me know. There she is. Put a fork in that. She's done. I like it. Sits nice and flush. Yeah, this one sits better on the rocker, so as it should be. So yeah, it's cool. I like it. Nice. All right. Well, hey, that's it, man. Thanks for checking out the video and. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. But um, if you liked the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to Backyard Hot Rods. Thanks.